I'm a native New Yorker and proud of it. There are lots of people in life that wear many hats, from moms and dads to CEOs. But there are precious few people that wear many hats and make hats. Milners typically design and then sew their hats from cloth. But stop a minute and look at these hats. They're made out of paper towels. Viva paper towels, to be specific. And they're made by a New York diva. Meet Deborah Rappaport. Sometimes I get called a diva. And that's, that's kind of fun, you know, for someone who was so shy as a, young, as a young girl. I'm part of a movement called Advanced Style, which Ari Seth Cohen started in 2008, and I met him in 2009. And he said, uh, I'm, I'm photographing women over 60. And I very snottily said, how do you know I'm over 60? I make all kinds of art pieces, but primarily things for the body that are wearable out of repurposed materials, out of found metal from the streets, out of bits and pieces of plastic. And anything that comes my way, it speaks to me and it says, do me. I usually don't spend more than $5 because there's nothing I really need. So that gives me um, kind of a challenge. What can I not find? And if I do, what can I find for $5? When you put a hat on, it's about hattitude. People say, oh, I can't wear a hat, they don't look good on me, I don't know how to wear them. The minute you put a hat on somebody, something changes. There is a hattitude that comes about. The most important thing when you walk into a room is your face and your expression and your eyes. So I think when you frame a face, you're making that stand out and more important. So the last four years, I've basically been attracted to Viva paper towels to make hats out of because it's very much like cloth. So it, it spoke to me. And at first I didn't know what I was going to do. So I found myself folding, twisting, and just manipulating the material. Folding it so that it was thick enough that it had some substance really worked. So the equation is half, half, and then to embed the, the rough edges, the raw edges, I would fold it in thirds. So, so after folding it in half and in half and then in thirds, we just use a touch of glue along the edge. So this is a basic element and then from here we can begin to build the hat. So the first thing you're going to do is measure it on your head right above the ears because that's usually the widest part and we begin to build a cone shape where each one becomes smaller and smaller inside. Until we end up with something like this. So this hat is embellished with a dimensional thing on the front, which is basically made the same way as I make the bracelets. I take the element and then create a woven structure and then add it to the hat. As Deborah will attest, following one's own truth and trusting that all will be well leads to a path with detours and bumps along the way. She's been a professor, artist, florist, reflexologist, chef, and model in order to make ends meet. In addition to hats, she makes necklaces and bracelets. This is made from found metal. This was made from the early, in the early 80s when I could find metal in the streets of New York that had been patinaed and run over with wonderful texture. Friendship is another thing that's most important and at this point in my life that's mostly what I spend time with. I have a lot of under 30 friends, I have a lot of over 70 friends, we do a lot of get-togethers, parties, exchanges, workshops, because that's really where the pleasure is. It's been a good ride for Deborah Rappaport. She has many friends. Her inner compass has steered her along to the point where she's become a New York-style icon and a model in her 70s. She no longer has to worry about making ends meet. She frames faces, and she does it like no one else. To sum it up, she, like Oscar Wilde, advises, be yourself. Everyone else is taken.